What's up guys, Hey King here, bringing you a new video with some new RE leaks, this time on RE1 Remake. So, yeah, the last few days, a lot of supposed leakers have now come out and revealed that RE1 is happening, and that it's going to come out in uh, 2026, the third anniversary of the series. So at this point, I'm pretty convinced this is this is true. We've we've got one legit leaker who's usually known for film leaks. I believe his name is Daniel PTK or PKT, uh, and we got some new ones, uh, which gives us a bit more details from uh, I believe a Resi Resident Evil Central. Now they've posted this info, apparently they got it from a source, but I'm gonna go through this. And before, of course, I begin, remember to like and subscribe guys and uh girls uh ladies and gentlemen please and let's go right through this and see how legit this sounds remember guys to take this with a grain of salt this is not a hundred percent confirmation it is a rumor okay but yeah let's go through this new resident evil one remake info according to anonymous email received by bio declassified Okay. Working title, Biohazard, RE1. Will be slower paced than RE2 Remake. Each zombie will have their own unique model due to the small number of enemies within the game. More bullets required to take out RE1 zombies than RE2 Remake. Quoted as bullet sponges. Crimson Heads will return. RE1 lore will be explored further. A different third-person camera will be used, slower paced again. No more pre-rendered backgrounds. Each room will load up background assets and the rest of the assets will load when the doors are opened. This is to improve visuals and lighting. And that is all they had to say. So, uh, yeah, let's go through this very quickly. Biohazard RE1. Yeah, it, it's very similar to what they did with Resident Evil 7's title. They, you know, in Japan, they called it Biohazard Resident Evil. And I believe here in, in the Western countries, they called it Resident Evil Biohazard. And they had the 7, the logo, if you will, hidden in there in the title, I think. Um, I can't be too sure if they actually did just call it Resident Evil 7, did they? No, no, no. It was called Resident Evil Biohazard here and there. So, yeah, that's fun. I guess this is very similar to... Yeah, it would make sense for them to use that kind of title. Confirmation, if you will. It will be slower paced than RE2. Yeah, obviously, because RE1 is a slow paced game. Each zombie will be their own unique model due to this. Okay, so it's going to have less zombies in it, I guess. I mean, if they're just recreating the base game from scratch with the RE engine, it would probably have lesser enemies. And I am assuming the enemies would be able to be more unique. And as it says, it's going to require more bullets. Yeah, I, I guess, because if you can have less enemies in, in rooms, they're going to have to be harder to take out. Crimson Heads returning, obviously. My hope is, is that if they're bringing Crimson Heads back, they also, uh, you know, uh, push the evolution of the Crimson Heads into turning into liquors. You know, one of the ideas for RE2 Remake was to have Crimson Heads, I think, show up in, in, in that and then have them mutate into liquors when you didn't, I guess, burn them or kill them either. Um... Kind of hoping they do that here, maybe. That would be kind of cool. Maybe, maybe, maybe sort of an in-between evolution, you know, from a Crimson Head to something that would eventually become a Licker, maybe. I don't know. That would be kind of cool, I think. Uh, the RE1 lore will be further explored. Uh, the only, Honestly, the only thing I feel like they can do here is just add the RE0 stuff uh, and put it into RE1. So a lot of fine files or videos of James Marcus uh, about the creation of the uh, T-virus, about Africa, about the progenitor virus, more about, uh, you know, Spencer and uh, the Ashfords and that, you know, really deep dive into it to set up all the stuff that comes in the pre in the later games. Uh, a different third person cameras. I don't, I don't know. I feel like, I feel like they might do first person for this game. They might do both. I feel like because you know the original the original RE1 was supposed to be a first person uh, a game of, uh, originally and then they turned it into you know what we got um so i feel like they might explore that and implement that maybe no more pre-rendered backgrounds i see this is the part that makes me go yeah this sounds like bs i mean it's obvious there would be no pre-rendered but why would there be? do you mean like that's that's obviously old school so it makes no sense here um Honestly, don't know what I don't know what to think about this. I do think it is happening. I do think we are getting an RE1 remake again with the RE engine. But uh, 
Sorry about the background noise. That's uh, Loki, my cat, trying to get into the room. I'll open the door in a second. But uh, yeah, yeah, th there's really not much to go on. This is all we really have regarding RE1 Remake. Uh, and I'm assuming we're not gonna, if RE9 is 100% coming out next year, especially early next year, I'm assuming we're gonna get info on RE1 Remake towards the end of 2025 for a release date in 2026, obviously. So yeah, I don't think this game's getting revealed anytime soon, unless Capcom surprises us and literally comes out with RE, with an RE9 reveal and an RE1 remake reveal to go. Yeah, this game's coming out in 2026. Look forward to this as well. So, which would be cool. But uh, at this point, I've even said it myself. I feel like it's obvious. Especially if they want to set up RE5 remake. They have to do RE1 again and RE Code Veronica. And really deep dive into the characters of Chris, Jill, and especially Wesco. And really get his character in line with what he's like in RE5. So, yeah. Very curious how this is going to go. Anyway, guys, that's all I got for you. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, remember to like and subscribe again. And yeah, I shall see you when I shall see you. Take care and bye.